What's up guys and girls, I'm here to do Bleach, the latest chapter, 566. I am sorry, by the way, I got my braces off. Yay. I am sorry guys, yeah, I look so cool with no braces. Yeah. Not exactly per perfect teeth, but not too bad. Anyhow, um, yeah, it looks weird. Um, I'm sorry for the background noise in this video. Um, I don't have a lot of time these days with school so be happy this is out at the very least more so if you guys can spread the news about this channel to your friends if you think your friends will watch or anyone you may know um, because it really is quite a motivation to keep going and when I only get 20 views um, it's not that great but still I mean those 20 people who are keep who keep coming back I think all of you I mean 20 different people that that can fill up a room um, so today I have uh, I read the chapter already but I'm going to um, do a page by page review um, this chapter was really solid and um, again I, I apologize for the background noise but um, you know time issues and more more so than that uh, this really takes off a lot of um, processing time when I don't have to go through the whole editing thing which takes over an hour to do rendering it and so forth so we start off with a flashback to uh, what um, Rukia and Ke uh, Renji uh, sort of talked about before they entered to society after their training so this was uh, I mean that whole thing with them training it was cool and stuff but at the same time it was a bit of a cop out main characters that you know what should probably should have died or been defeated uh, they come back stronger than ever it's it's a cool concept but I'm gonna be honest a little bit bland I still liked it though um, and so they they went up they trained they got better sort of like a time skip uh, which is I don't know in bleach the time skip didn't necessarily make all the characters a lot stronger Sure, they got s somewhat stronger, um, but that usually, and you know what I'm talking about, the other time skips, they get a lot stronger because that time skip was used to get to make them strong. Um, but for Bleach, I mean, as far as Ichiko was concerned and many others, the time skip wasn't the thing that did it. It was, you know, after the invasion of Soul Society, when they went up and they trained, that's when they got stronger. So here's a concept I don't understand. Now, Renji has to pretty much sleep until the next morning before he can fight another person or in order to not get found out or maybe uh, draw too much attention. So he has to fight maybe two or three stern riders at the same time. First off, that's not a big deal in my opinion. I mean, Zaraki Kenpachi, who I still think is the guy I have been rooting for more so than Ichigo, he took out three Stern Raiders by himself easily, just slumped on his back. And I, let me reiterate for the thousandth time that this guy is someone who has not changed in power level since he was a child because he subconsciously restricted himself because he couldn't find anyone stronger. Um, so I don't understand this whole concept of waiting till morning because let's face it this invasion is not like a freaking month-long summer retreat I would expect these things to go really really fast and I mean who, like how long did that last invasion take to me maybe like um, a couple days max am I wrong in that statement but to just assume that this battle will take weeks and you can afford to just kill one and then sleep until the next morning that's kind of ludicrous but apparently that's kind of what's going on apparently there's a stern ridder who was waiting and just sort of walking around just randomly doing stuff and um, apparently he got scared and 
didn't want to attack Renji because he thought uh, something was going on. So he waited until he woke up the next morning. So this fight is actually very, very slow. This may be a week long, two week long battle. And apparently, um, last chapter pretty much revealed that this wasn't just some like eliminate them all again sort of decision plan. It was to feed their king feed the Quincy King so he gets stronger with every death whether it's from the Stern Raiders or from the um, people marked uh, by um, the Stern Raiders the Shinigami who are marked how are they marked I don't know but maybe they just need like if they're touched by a Stern Raider that may count as part of the King's blood being touched on them him anyhow um, it's really strange how this gift this prodigious almost uh, heavenly gift was endowed upon this corrupt king uh, actually it's not really even a gift it's more like a curse because this king man my teeth look pretty cool huh they're so straight now not exactly perfect for sure but still um, this this king just for whatever reason has like it's not really a, a gift more as a it's more so a curse because he has to freaking pretty much uh, keep killing people to stay alive so now we got this weird stern raider this black guy with black and white teeth and weird sunglasses who is off obviously depicted as african-american well he reminds me of um i forgot his name but uh, the blind dude who followed Azen around, the, uh, the blind servant of Azen, uh, back when Azen was around. Um, maybe he's a re reincarnation, probably not. But um, in my opinion, uh, that that whole thing, that flashback with Azen, um, it's really sad because honestly, he had two subordinates and him, and that was it. And so one of his subordinates turned out to be. Uh, a, a traitor so he only had one loyal subordinate really and that one ended up dying stupidly because he finally gained eyesight uh, but he, uh, he he just let his guard down too much which is so stupid for someone so strong and now we have um, this fear stern ridder honestly I mean, first off, I have to give it up to the author of Bleach for just depicting these awesome, awesome new characters that are very prominent and all have very distinct abilities and fashion senses. That's something not a lot of authors can do well and keep it distinct and each character to have a, a strong personality too. And as soon as I saw this, this guy, this lonely guy, uh, this fear guy, he reminded me of... Um, the first Kenpachi, uh, who uh, Zoraki Kenpachi just fought and ended up killing, which was needed in order to finally unleash Zoraki Kenpachi's full potential. Honestly, like that was another very sad thing, but it had to happen. Um, and I'm kind of astonished how she had to wait until this second to do it. I guess because she didn't want to die. Uh, which I, I think completely defe defeats the whole purpose of soul society because it's like uh, the other world because if you can die after you reach heaven like like let's say you you get to heaven and they're like yeah you can die here too what happens after that we don't know do you go to another realm or you're just wiped out forever then it sort of defeats the, defeats the whole purpose of everything um, anyhow it turns out Rukia has no fear whatsoever which is so badass kind of hard to see I don't think like she is the person to be the the crypto knight to this this uh, this guy because I feel like there are other characters who depict zero fear better than Rukia does I didn't really expect her to be the one um, who had zero fear um, but she is the crypto knight apparently because she has no fear so whatever this guy does with his fear uh, draw drawing out this the person's worst fear kind of like a dementor from harry potter doesn't work on rukia so 
we'll, we'll see where it goes. But I really like this character. You know, he draws out fear. He has this strange costume, the strange wardrobe, the strange, strange fear ball techniques. Pretty darn awesome. I want him wiped out immediately so we can progress with the story. But I predict at least two, three chapters worth of fighting between him and Rukia, which is going to be an eye roller for me. Uh, finally, uh, this is a little bit of reminiscing, but uh, that's other subordinate of uh, Azen who um, who got killed, who turned out to be a traitor and tried to kill Azen. Man, that was such a short amount of time to, like given to that character, and it was so sad because he was like one of the like that was the most honorable thing to do for him to be uh to pretend to side with azen and even trick azen this genius for so long pretty much acting as a um a triple agent and then finally revealing himself to azen at the the wor the best time and showing his like he even hid his true uh bankai which is ridiculous i mean for him to fool azen to that extent is insane like how can he like Azen's like we still don't know truly what Azen's like real power is but essentially like he sort of like can control you um once he sees your your Bankai or your Zenpakuto um but for him for him to trick Azen to that extent I mean it's just insane probably gonna read up on Azen again on the bleach wiki after this but it's insane um that that guy just died so honorably he he spent his whole life hated by his peers acting as a triple agent and at the last second the one person who valued him not even on a friendship level but on like a subordinate level azen turned out to hate him because he he was a traitor to azen so he, like Itachi from Naruto, he, he was sort of like a, by the way, spoiler to Naruto, um, he was sort of like a, hated by everyone and no one really understood him. So, sad stuff. Um, and he, it was all in vain, he he still didn't kill Aizen. Wow. And he was somewhat like Aizen himself, he was a prodigy. He was amazing, like better than a lot of most Shinigami in terms of fighting capabilities. Um, but obviously not better than Azen. So, as always, like, favorite, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more. It's free.